on this video, we raise a glass to the island of Pico. Cheers. It's stunning volcano, fascinating history and wildlife. Let's go. Good morning from Pico. Time for a little look around this Azorean island. Only had one full day on Pico and as a result had this ambitious plan. I was going to drive around the island clockwise, taking in as many viewpoints and historical sites. Yep, it was as windy as it sounded. But what's great about being in the Azores in the winter is that you're often on your own to enjoy the scenery. Now what I wasn't to know is that events better known as my hire car were about to result in a change of plan. If the Azores are new to you, here's some information. The group of islands which are part of Portugal are in the middle of the Atlantic. The weather is neither too hot nor too cold and they are as beautiful as they look. If you're crossing the Atlantic from North America to Europe, they're a perfect stop-off point. Well, we've just pulled off the road that rings around the island to just uh, come and look out across uh, the ocean towards a neighbouring island. If this video is proving helpful, if you're planning your trip to the Azores yourself, or if you're actually just enjoying it, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit a like on this video. I'm always on the lookout for new places to go and see. Can you recommend somewhere to me? Let me know in the comments section. We've now stopped off at this little church right on the eastern end of Pico, and it's a church. It looks okay, doesn't it? But what a view it's got. Oh. And are you wondering if you saw me with a glass of wine at the start of the video? Well, the answer was thankfully yes. I was going to need it as well. So the lighthouse is more a point of interest than a tourist attraction, clearly still a working place, but it's a little road down here. Uh, it is a cul-de-sac, so you have to do a little turn to go back towards the main part of the island, but it gives you a great view back over the island standing here. Well, I just had to pull over, didn't I? What an utterly amazing view to take in. If you think this is a great view of Pico, wait for my next video from the Azores. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And one other thing, the lizards seem to have come out to play with the sun out warming them up. I've come down from those heights to a small town to visit a museum which marks one of the big industries of this area that they used to be here and that's whaling. You can still go out and look at the whales and take photos but in the old days obviously they went out whaling and we're off to have a look at that museum. 
The museum shows an old film about life in the Azores last century. It was surprisingly engrossing. The rest of the museum showed the impact of whaling on the area. But my favourite part of the museum was this wall, a wall of photos of people who played such a big role on Pico. Well, including watching the film, that's an interesting, what, 40 minutes to an hour, depending on how long you want to be in the museum, but gives a, a good taster of some of the uh, history of this island. So, a bit of an update. Um, on my screen, it says the tyres need inflating. I've just got out and checked them all. I can't see the issue. Um, so we're going to head back to the airport to where I got the hire car from. There are two ways to get back to the airport. There's one that uh, I'm not taking. I'm actually taking the quickest way back to the airport. And as you can see, it's a very long, very straight road. So I, I looked at that and I figured it's the best way to go. Uh, it also happens to be um, just going past a couple of the places I wanted to go to anyway. So I figured I would do that and see how it works out. Yeah, not too sure. But like I said, I've checked the tyres. I can't see there's an issue with them. I don't know if it's just that the software on here is seeing something that I'm not seeing, but I've just been round the tyres and I can't see what the issue is. But I'm uh, taking it steady and we'll see where we end up. The lake wasn't that much to see, and it was cold to say the least. So I thought I'd check the tyres one more time and move on. Double check the tyres again, they feel fine. So I don't know if it's just the cars playing up or if the tyres really have a problem that is hidden from, from me. Well, we're getting a bit closer now, thankfully, um, and it's not been a lot of turning, and it's only a couple of miles left to go. I, I just wanted to have a the opposite of a shout-out to my Apple Maps. A couple of times, both today and earlier on, on the other island, it tried to send me on routes, which at best, off-roading. <laughs> and whilst the car I was driving on San Miguel probably could have made it, this car, not a chance. So thank you, Apple Maps. Uh, you've taught me a bit of caution in, in using you in places that I don't really know. Well, we've uh, made it to the airport, so let's see what they can do about this car. Well, the answer is not very much. It's like the Marie Celeste. It's like a ghost town inside that airport. And the hire car company, nobody from there at all. Now, there is somewhere in town for the same company, so I think we're going to head that way. It's only a 10 minute drive, couple of miles. Not overly keen on doing it again in this car, but I don't feel like I have much choice. I have checked those tyres again before anyone asks me. They all look fine, but the uh, the computer in the car, for what it's worth, doesn't like the look of them, but I've checked all those tyres again. It does seem fine. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so the situation has been sorted out. If you see the guys walking away over there, uh, I was just outside of the car, bumped into them. The bright jackets really helped. It showed they were from the hire car company. They've checked the car. They said it's just a faulty sense not to worry about it. So we should be okay. How much did this road trip cost me? The price is on the screen now. So thanks to the team here for making me feel really welcome. If you'd like to see more videos from my time here on the Azores, a link to a playlist is on the screen now. Uh, but for now, cheers.